Hello everyone and welcome to the Infotech Solutions QA training. In this video, uh, I'm going to discuss about the concept of checkpoints in QTP. Uh, if you have uh, seen my previous videos, uh, in previous videos we covered the, uh, that the concept of creating a test case, uh, the concept of record and run settings, recording a test case and running it. Fine. Uh, previous video when uh, we run the test case it was a kind of uh, iteration fine there was in the result in the report generation there wasn't a case of any pass or fail test case fine but in theory uh, we have learned that if something uh, which we wanted to perform if it is performed perfectly we call it as a test case pass or in either case we call it as failed uh, Right now the question arises that how we can let the QTP know that uh, this is something what QTP needs to check and if the check is uh, performed it is done QTP will uh, consider it as the past test case or in the I mean different case the failed. So here is the concept uh, comes in the picture that's about the checkpoints. Uh, as you can simply uh, understand uh, with the name itself checkpoints is a kind of uh, checking uh, uh, at some uh, point in, in terms of recording where we can let QTP know that this is the point you need to check fine so uh, this is uh, I mean the basic understanding behind the checkpoints if we talk about the uh, types of checkpoints available in QTP there are a number of checkpoints available the most basic and most useful uh, checkpoint it is called as standard checkpoint fine there are some more checkpoints, a specific one like uh, text checkpoint, text area checkpoints, bitmap checkpoints, database checkpoints, etc. etc. Fine. So, in this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate that how to uh, use a standard checkpoint. Okay. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new test case. Okay, for example, test case is the same, I created it. And uh, I'm going to record the flight reservation application I click done okay okay I'm putting credentials the password is okay okay so uh, logically when I put in the login uh, ID and password this I mean after putting the successful login ID and password uh, the correct login ID and password this uh, window this dialog box should be appeared which is which will be able uh, with only the successful case of login fine so I am putting this window as a standard checkpoint the very important point about the checkpoint is I can put on the checkpoints only when I am in the recording mode okay so this is the if you can see uh, the button available here it's a kind of drop down menu fine insert checkpoint or output values I'm simply clicking it and I'm going to click on the first option available that is the standard checkpoint okay so I clicked it now if you're able to see you'll get this a kind of hand available here and this is looking for a kind of object so I clicked on this one okay if you see it uh, it actually identified the object uh, which is a window and the text is written as file reservation I click on OK so it will show me the other properties of this object okay the property if you see here uh, that is the the type and the text ABC that is enabled and the value is true okay and the checkpoint timeout is 10 seconds it means uh, it will it will wait for the 10 seconds to uh, turn I mean uh, for the window to be turned up okay so I'm going on okay one okay now I'm going to simply exit it okay and then stop recording
okay now uh, when you see the uh, i guess i mean this coding the vb scripting of it you'll be able to see this is the same method for example set method username then password then click okay then this is on the windows flight reservation we set a checkpoint on this flight reservation fine now i'm going to run it and uh, if the same uh, i mean the checkpoint QTP able to find, QTP able to find that uh, I would say the uh, the window, the dialog box after the after providing user and user ID and password. So it will turn up as a pass case or it will be a fail. Fine. So I am running it. Let's see what QTP shows us. Okay. This is on this, for example, fourth the fifth page running. And this is our okay. This is our report generation. If you see the executive, I mean executive summary of this test case was passed. We see it in detail. The current one, if you see in the last case, that was the iteration, and now it is showing as the passed. Okay, the one test case is passed. Now we see the detailed form. We can simply expand it. In the login window, the flight reservation. When I click on this. You'll be able to see the step. The step name is flight reservation. Step past the window, and this was the checkpoint. Fine. So standard checkpoint flight reservation that passed the flight reservation reserved the property name, the property value. We keep the enabled property as true, and it considered to be as the true. Fine. So uh, I hope you got the idea that how to put up a standard checkpoint. We can use it in terms of, for example. Uh, basic functionalities like Gmail login logout, you can test it on your own based on the same inputs I have given this in this video. And uh, we can put, I mean, number of checkpoints within a test case, multiple checkpoints. So there is uh, no issue like it. So I hope you uh, got the idea that why we put checkpoints and how QTP turns up, turns up the results of pass or fail. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.